is a quick video to give you an overview of a tool that the BIM Bakery currently has in the oven. We, we believe it's ready for a taste tester, so give it a go and give us some feedback. So what we're looking at is, is a gradient line tool. Effectively, this is a, a calculator, a gradient calculator. So as you change the variables, um, of Pythagoras is our friend running your calculations and it's giving you, it's giving you feedback. So currently we are on a 20 meter run, which is the length of the, the ramp um, on, on the flat in 2D effectively. The rise, which is your, the height, uh, and then you've got your, your gradient. So all of these are being calculated. So if we change, um, if we change our rise, you see your gradient will be calculated and then you get, you've given feedback in the user interface as to what the angle, the ratio, and gradient is. You can change those if you want to deal with, um, with a different uh, variable. Uh, so the tick box, the tick box in here will lock a value, and you can work with the others. So if we change that back to one meter, it will remain at at, um, at the gradient that's that's set, and it will calculate your run. Alternatively, if you if you change your run, it will calculate your rise. Okay, so just an opportunity to to kind of engage with this object. Um, depending on the problem you're looking at solving. So currently it's only the straight line um, solution. The intent is to, to give a curved line solution that will, that will give you an opportunity to work out um, cur curved ramps. So we're looking at this being a, almost like a documentation tool, but also just helping with quick set out of ramps or gradients or falls and um, something that you can model around, but then also offering you the, the ability um, to place this object uh, for, for your 2D information. So instead of drawing a 2D leader, you've got this smart object that's giving you levels. Uh, and if it's modeled correctly, it's, uh, the, the value should be, should be right. So the, the object is in uh, 3D as well. So because we've got our angle fixed, you can see as we drag it out, the length is, is getting longer. So you can see the length in there. So we can put that back to 20 meters and it will calculate. Um, reminder that the gradient is fixed. So if we want to change this gradient back to 20, we can lock it in and everything else will be calculated. Okay, so because you can see it in 3D, you can also see it in, in elevation. So you can, uh, or in section, so you can drag this up. The, the gradient is obviously locked. So the, if it will lengthen, if we want to if we want to lock the run, if we go back in here, you, sh you will be able to change the height and your gradient will be calculated. So we've just put the parameters uh, into the, the smart label, or the power label at least, uh, and you, you're able to, to label the specific object. So the power label knows that, that it's an object and via text file, we'll get into that a bit later, you're able to um, extract um, certain parameters from that object and any object, uh, and then you've got your prefixes in there. So that's just giving giving us some feedback in elevation and section. So as we move this around, it's it's calculating, giving you the ratio, the angle, and the and the percentage of the gradient. Okay, so um, that's about it in terms of of where this object's at. There are some uh, the, the opportunity to actually put some um, transitions in. It changes the object slightly. Your height and your, sorry, your length and your height becomes, uh, is a total. So you'll see these values in here will differ from those values because your gradients have been calculated with it. Um, and yeah, so that's fairly simple to use. Uh, but um, yeah, just something that, that really does give you the opportunity to inform your design decisions. Right, that's it. Give it a go. Uh, we'll put a download link in the in the um, in this post, and uh, yeah, give us feedback. Thanks. Bye.